Black Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan. If you didn't know, Kublai Khan ruled the Wan Dynasty in twelve in twelve seventy nine, and he reigned from twelve sixty to ninety four. He used his Wan Dynasty as an extension of the already dominant Mongolian Empire and promoted policies that allowed trade and prosperity to thrive. He had power over most of the modern day China and its surrounding areas, including modern Mongolia. Kublai Khan contributed to the vast, uh, the vast growth of China's economy by reopening and re-enhancing the Silk Road, which we previously learned about. The Mongolians revived the Silk Road and established peace throughout their extensive, extensive trade routes leading the so-called Pax Mongolia, Latin for Mongol peace. His dynasty, the Yuan. The Wan. <laughs> Just the Wan. Just the Wan. Okay. The Wan dynasty led to the development of Chinese literature and architectural style. They were also very innovative. One of the more successful applications of printing technology in China was the Chao. The paper money of the Yuan, which became one of the first instances of an un unified <laughs> of a unified paper money economy in the world. He was the grandson of Genghis Khan, one of the most famous Chinese emperors 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 who granted religions freedom to his subjects abolished torture encouraged trade and created the first international postal system hope you enjoy hope you enjoy y'all yeah.